Every day, we continue to discover the most astounding and the most amazing things. With each passing year, we continue to unravel history secrets and the most notable discoveries in the history of humankind. We might not have all the answers just yet, but here are some of the most remarkable discoveries in the last few years. From hidden planet killers to a star that disturbed astronomers from all around the world, here are 20 mind-blowing discoveries that will shock you. Number 20. Hidden Planet Killers Did you know that there are planet killers slowly moving throughout our galaxy? Since the invention of modern astronomical tools, we've been monitoring the skies to watch out for asteroids that might accidentally veer into our solar system. Over 30,000 known near-Earth asteroids have been detected by astronomers so far, but experts claim that some of them are hidden. Most asteroids are remnants of the massive explosion that formed our solar system some 4.6 billion years ago. Many of them remain between Mars and Jupiter, known as the asteroid belt. Many of these space rocks are hidden from our view from Earth. In the inner solar system, asteroids are obscured by the blinding glare from the Sun. In 2022, astronomers revealed the discovery of space rocks around Venus and Mercury, a region in space that we don't see often. It turned out that several asteroids, which astronomers call planet killers, are orbiting near our planet. Just as their name suggests, these massive rocks can easily decimate Earth, or almost any planet for that matter. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about them just yet. It'll take several centuries for one of these asteroids to go out of its standard orbit and potentially hit a nearby planet. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Plastic-Eating Caterpillars Every year, more than 300 million tons of plastic are disposed of in landfills all around the globe. On average, it takes up to 450 years for a single plastic bottle to decompose in a landfill. Plastic straws take up to 200 years to decompose. Production of plastic and our landfills becoming full of waste that takes centuries to decompose fully is beginning to take a toll on our planet. In 2022, scientists were amazed when they discovered a solution to this global problem. How can we lessen the plastic on our planet before the world's oceans are affected? It turns out that the answer to this question has been under our noses all along, or more like under our feet. Australian scientists discovered a superworm, also known as the Zophobus morio, these creepy crawlies eventually metamorphosize into dark beetles. But during the early stages of their lives, these creatures can survive with an all-plastic diet. Yep, these tiny worms can easily finish the decorative plastic fruits on your dinner table. Unlike most organisms, these superworms have bacteria in their gut that are capable of digesting polystyrene. A team of researchers at the University of Queensland conducted an experiment to see whether these creatures can truly thrive and live off the plastic, and the results shocked them. The superworms were capable of ingesting polystyrene and styrene, both of which are materials commonly used in takeaway containers. Now, you're probably thinking that these superworms will soon be deployed in landfills all over the world to consume plastic. However, that's simply not manageable. Instead, Scientists are working on finding out the enzyme these superworms use. In the future, we might finally have a way to get rid of plastic waste properly. Number 18. The Mysterious Diggy Spheres Dating back from around 1500 to 300 BC, during a period known as Sinancra, are several stone balls scattered all over Costa Rica. These huge stones are known as Diggy Spheres. These mysterious stones first caught the attention of the public when workers clearing land in the Diquis Valley of Costa Rica noticed them. The stone spheres varied in size, with the largest measuring over 2 meters in diameter and weighing over 16 tons. Sphere after sphere was unearthed around the land, leading workers to believe they stumbled upon artifacts left behind by a previously unknown civilization. Archaeologists believe that centuries ago, a now extinct civilization created the spheres. How they form perfectly round stone spheres remains a mystery, though. Some claim that the stone spheres merely serve as decorations, while some believe the spheres held some significance in the past. Many of these stone spheres were stolen from their original locations and are being kept as lawn ornaments across the nation. Several of them are also held at Costa Rica's National Museum. Number 17. Comb crafted out of a human skull. 
How would you like to comb your hair using a comb made out of someone else's skull? Sounds macabre, but our predecessors who lived during the Iron Age between 750 BC to AD 43 had to make do with what they had. Earlier this year, archaeologists excavating at Bar Hill near Cambridge, England made an incredible discovery. They unearthed a strange fragment of human bone. It was carved into a semicircular shape, with the bottom portion carved to resemble teeth. The tiny fragment was a small piece that broke from a large comb made of a human skull. A large hole at the center of the comb revealed that it was worn as a necklace or an amulet. Thousands of years ago, people in Europe gave importance to human heads. During the Iron Age, Britain was populated by tribal groups that built their own forts and castles. Many of them were hostile to each other, most often leading to battles. Many groups at war with each other beheaded their victims and used their heads as war trophies. There were also those who used their enemies' bones to create amulets and other accessories. The artifact, now known as the Bar Hill Comb, was only one of the thousands of artifacts discovered on the site. Scientists are hoping that the discovery of more artifacts will shed some light on Iron Age Britain and the people who lived there in the past thousands of years. Number 16. Hidden World in a Massive Sinkhole There are a lot of undiscovered worlds on our planet. And recently, one of the most significant secret biomes has been discovered by a team of Chinese scientists in the most unexpected place. In 2022, a giant sinkhole was discovered in the sleepy village of Lo Kuan Yan in central China's Hubei province. A team of spelunkers and experts bravely explored the massive sinkhole that had a staggering depth of almost 630 feet. Reaching the bottom took hours, and the path below the pit was treacherous. Sinkholes were commonly discovered around the area. The topography in the region makes it an ideal spot for sinkholes and karst caves to appear. However, the 630-foot deep sinkhole was a unique discovery. Shortly after reaching the entrance leading to the descent of the karst, ancient trees immediately greeted the team of experts. In the past hundreds of years, a primitive forest flourished at the heart of the sinkhole, unseen by most of the world. The ancient trees were more than 130 feet tall, growing towards the sunlight at the entrance of the sinkhole. Scientists believe more species are hidden in the karst, but for now, we might need to wait before we can unravel the secrets of these hidden worlds. Number 15. Hair in the Graveyard Graveyards are pretty scary places, but the horror lessens if you visit these places during the day. But a man in California saw something hair-raising that left him quite spooked. While visiting the St. Joseph Catholic Cemetery in Sacramento, the man saw hair coming out of a hole in the ground. Curious, he approached it and looked closely. Needless to say, he was quite surprised by what he discovered. Upon looking closely, he realized that the hair poking out of the hole was connected to a corpse buried in one of the graves. The 37-year-old handyman was quite stunned. He looked at the gravestone and realized that the person buried beneath it was interred six feet below the ground an entire century ago. It's definitely strange to see a century-old tomb exposed. After feeling a wave of disgust, the man realized what needed to be done. He approached one of the workers and asked about the grave. He claimed that it wouldn't be proper if an actual grave were left exposed. After reporting the incident to the authorities, the man went home and returned to the cemetery the following day. There was still a hole in the ground, but the hair seemed to have been pushed back into the grave. It was still a pretty spooky experience. Workers at the cemetery claimed that one of the tree roots nearby grew incredibly large and began disrupting the concrete barrier, leaving the grave exposed. Number 14. GPS Reveals Wolf Pack Interactions Wolves are among the most brilliant pack animals. New research sheds light on the truth behind these animals. This photo may look like nothing but scribbles, but this shows concrete data about the hierarchy and rules between wolf packs. This picture was created in the framework of the Voyager's Wolf Project conducted in Voyager's National Park in Minnesota. The different lines pertain to each wolf pack roaming its territories. Several clans may overlap, but each wolf pack remains in its own region. The actual mapping of the wolves shows that each wolf pack strategically avoids each other as they move only coinciding with each other when food is scarce. Each wolf pack has an alpha male and female and an omega counterpart. Each wolf pack has a strict dominant hierarchy where the alpha is seen as the leader and the one in charge. Naturally, the lower ranking wolves will act submissively toward the higher ranked ones. Each pack develops a social bond with one another. 
but that doesn't stay true when it comes to other packs. They avoid each other to prevent conflict, but if they need resources, they won't hesitate to fight. Experts claim that because of human activity, the natural habitat of these wolves is slowly shrinking, causing them to bump into each other frequently, resulting in more conflict between packs. Number 13. The Mystery of the Solway Spaceman In 1964, a man decided to snap a photo of his daughter to immortalize the moment. Little did he know that the picture he took would become one of the most mysterious photos in the world. At the center of the photo is a young girl smiling brightly in a green dress while holding a small bunch of flowers. What's strange, however, is the bizarre man standing behind her. Behind her is what looks like a person dressed in a white suit and a helmet. It was incredibly bizarre to see such a person standing behind the child. Later on, when the young girl's father looked at the photo, he spotted the strange figure standing behind his child. He claimed that he didn't see the figure anywhere when he took the photo. According to him, he took the photo overlooking the Solway Firth in Cumberland. At the time, only the man, his wife, and two other people were at the location. He claimed that what he captured behind his daughter was a real-life spaceman that somehow landed at the perfect moment. At the time, many were convinced that it was fake, and Kodak, a film company, even offered a reward for anyone who could prove the photo was indeed edited. Remember, the photo was released in 1964 when editing photos wasn't as easy as it is today. Even with the high reward, no one has ever managed to prove that the image was indeed edited. Some claim that the alleged spaceman is nothing but an illusion created by something in the background, most likely the man's wife, who could be seen in another photo taken the same day. To this day, however, the Solway Spaceman is still one of the most mysterious supernatural photos of all time. Number 12. The Black Knight Satellite In 1998, NASA captured a photo of an unknown black object orbiting our planet. The strange object is known as STS-088-724-66, but it's most popularly known as the Black Knight Satellite. Astronomers suspected that the black object was nothing but junk that somehow found itself orbiting around our planet, but it turned out that wasn't the case. In order for you to understand the mystery and hype surrounding the Black Knight satellite, let's go back several decades earlier, before NASA captured the strange object. In 1899, Nikola Tesla stated that he received strange radio signals from space while staying in Colorado Springs. The language was impossible for him to decipher, leading him to think that the signals he received weren't sent by man-made satellites. He claimed he was receiving Martian signals. Several years later, the Black Knight satellite appeared, fueling rumors that aliens were trying to communicate with people on Earth. Of course, astronomers immediately stopped this spreading rumors by claiming that the Black Knight satellite couldn't be an alien object and that it might be space debris. There's also the chance that Nikola Tesla detected a pulsar light years away from our planet. To this day, the true nature of the Black Knight satellite hasn't been revealed. Number 11. Linear A and Linear B Linear A and Linear B are forms of writing used by Aegean civilizations around the second millennium BC. Linear B is a script that was used from 1400 BC to 1200 BC. It was often used to write about the economic administration at the time in Mycenaean Greek, the earliest form of the language. Linear B was deciphered in 1952 by Michael Ventris. It took years before the script was decoded, but no one expected Linear A to remain undeciphered for more than two decades. Linear A is an undeciphered writing system that was used around 2500 BC to around 1450 BC. This puzzle has captured the attention of experts since it was discovered. Many tried to decipher and finally decode the script, but no one successfully did. That was until recently. Thanks to the internet, Linear A may finally be deciphered. There are limited artifacts inscribed with writing in Linear A, making it more difficult to decode the script. Decoding Linear A is still in the works, but experts finally see a connection between Linear A and B. Who knows? Soon enough, we might finally be able to unlock the code entirely. Number 10. 1,500-year-old skeletons locked in eternal embrace. In 2021, a 1,500-year-old grave was unearthed in a cemetery in China, and inside were two skeletons locked in a tight embrace for the last 1,500 years. 
Experts believe the two ancient skeletons, a man and a woman, lived between 386 to 534 CE during the Northern Wei period in China. The couple was among the many corpses discovered at the ancient cemetery. However, the pair quickly caught the eye of archaeologists. It wasn't rare to discover two corpses inlaid in a single coffin, but their position was intimate. The man's arm was wrapped tightly around the woman's body, with his face looking down at her. The woman's face was close to her beloved's, with her own arms wrapped around his body. It was almost as if the two didn't want to lose each other, even after death. The man appeared to be older than the woman, who looked like she was healthy until her final moments. There's a possibility that the woman sacrificed herself and chose to die with her beloved to ensure they would be together in death. Number 9. The Mysterious City of Nan Madal. Most ancient cities are discovered on islands or in the middle of lush forests. Most ancient civilizations and communities strategically chose a place where it was easy to erect structures like houses and temples. And yet, Nan Madal was different from most ancient cities. Surrounded by seawater off the island of Pompeii in present-day Micronesia is the only ancient city built on top of a coral reef, Nan Madal. This architectural and engineering marvel is also the only archaeological site that isn't on a heritage list. Nan Madal is an ancient city built with black basalt. The structures were created by the Sadolur, an old civilization that was known as tyrannical and inhumane. Their practices were considered extreme, and they strongly believed in their deities. Their reputation is incredibly well known, and to this day, locals around the area are still afraid of this civilization that lived so long ago. Many carefully visit Nan Madal so as not to incite the anger of the past civilization that ruled the coral reef for more than a thousand years. People on Nan Madal could have continued living in the network of islands built on top of a coral reef, but they couldn't handle being isolated from the mainland. Although they were surrounded by water, fresh water that they could easily drink was brought to them from the outside. And so, Nan Madal was abandoned after a millennium by the very people who built it. Number 8. The map that showed Antarctica as a land with no ice. In 1929, German theologian Gustav Diesmann chanced upon a gazelle skin parchment while working at the Topkapi Palace Library in Istanbul, Turkey. Upon opening the parchment, he realized he had his hands on a map that was drawn in 1513 by a cartographer named Hanji Ahmed Piri, also known as Piri Reis. He inspected the map closely and noticed a strange detail. The map indicated an island where Antarctica was supposed to be. Now that doesn't sound strange, except for the fact that Antarctica wasn't discovered by man until 1820, more than 300 years after the map was drawn. What's more bizarre is that Antarctica wasn't drawn covered in ice. Instead, it was a simple landmass. Its shape also matches its supposed appearance before it became covered with ice over 6,000 years ago. To this day, the Piri Reis map remains to be one of the most mysterious maps on Earth. Number 7. Massive Geoglyphs in India There are a lot of geoglyphs in the world, features on the ground that are usually not fully visible unless they're viewed from above. Archaeologists didn't anticipate that the largest geoglyphs in the world were hiding in the expanse of the Thar Desert in India. In the state of Rajasthan, stretching over 77,220 square miles, are geometrical lines and arranged motifs. Unlike the geoglyphs in Nazca, Peru, the patterns across the Great Indian Desert were less noticeable. However, after an aerial survey, archaeologists became certain that the enigmatic features on the ground were created by people who lived in the desert many years ago. It's unclear whether the mysterious patterns were created for cultural or religious significance. However, the sheer size implied their importance for the civilization that drew them across the desert sand. Number 6. 52-foot-long Book of the Dead Earlier this year, a rare 52-foot-long papyrus was unveiled to the rest of the world at Saqqara, Egypt. Papyrus was a material used to write scrolls and scripts in ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. The 52-foot-long document was discovered in a tomb near the Steppe Pyramid and it contained a passage from the Book of the Dead. In 2022, a different papyrus with text from the Book of the Dead was discovered near the same location. However, unlike the 52-foot giant scroll, the papyrus only measured around 13 feet long. In ancient Egypt, the Book of the Dead was a series of illustrations and text containing instructions on how to safely journey through the afterlife. 
These funerary texts are considered essential, and they were written during the beginning of the New Kingdom in Egypt, around 1550 BCE. The papyrus texts weren't meant to be used by the living. Instead, the texts were handed over to the dead. Number 5. Oldest War Monument Near a community in Syria is a massive mound. It can be seen far off in the distance from most houses. It looks ordinary, but this small hill is a burial mound. Beneath the earth are at least 30 warriors who died more than 4,300 years ago. The burial mound resembles the step pyramid in Egypt. It isn't as grand as the structures meant for the rulers of ancient Egypt, but it was still a formidable pile of dirt and gypsum stone. Thousands of years ago, it was an incredibly harrowing task to build a burial mound this size. The bodies interred beneath the tomb were placed carefully, suggesting that those who buried them cared about the dead. Archaeologists believe the burial mound is the oldest war monument, revealing that our predecessors honored those who died in battle, just as we do today. Number 4. The First Leper over an entire century ago in 1873, a physician named Gerhard Hansen put an end to the stigma and myths surrounding leprosy. It's unclear where this sickness originated, but it was thought to begin in Africa or Asia until it reached Europe in 300 BC. It began spreading throughout the continent during the Dark Ages until the end of 1870. People at the time didn't know how to fight such a deadly disease. In fact, it wasn't even considered an illness to begin with. Leprosy was seen as a curse and those who contracted it weren't given the correct treatment. Instead, they were cast away and left to die on their own. It wasn't until 1873 that the disease was viewed under a microscope. Today, leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is no longer a highly stigmatized sickness. However, much about this disease is still unknown. That's why when a 4,000-year-old skeleton was discovered in India, the timeline of Hansen's disease changed. Leprosy is no longer a threat to the world, but it's still crucial for us to understand how this disease spread in the past. A leper burial was discovered in Rajasthan, India. The man buried beneath the grave died around 2000 BC, and he died after complications of leprosy. His remains are recognized to be the oldest skeleton of a leprosy victim. The burial reveals that leprosy existed in Asia at least 4,000 years ago, and as trade routes opened and territorial conflict occurred, leprosy found its way into Europe. Number 3. Alcohol and Sugar Spewing Comet More than 3,800 comets have been recorded by astronomers so far. These cosmic balls of frozen gases and rock orbit the sun in our solar system. Billions of these snowballs orbit inside our solar system, and we're not even close to identifying every one of them. But recently, one particular comet caught the attention of astronomers. Scientists discovered a comet known as Lovejoy and it's by far one of the most unique comets we've seen in outer space. Just like other comets, this cosmic snowball releases gas as it nears our sun, but unlike other comets, it leaves behind a trail of ethyl alcohol, the same substance in alcoholic beverages and your hand sanitizer. What's more bizarre is the fact that it also contains the simple sugar glycolaldehyde. To give you an analogy, Nicholas Biver of the Paris Observatory claimed that Comet Lovejoy was found releasing as much alcohol in outer space as in at least 500 bottles of wine every second. That's a lot. Technically speaking, Comet Lovejoy was leaving behind sweet gas as it passed through the sun at the center of our solar system. I guess its name is very befitting. Number 2. The Tragic Fate of the Venetian Vampire In the past centuries, vampires earned different descriptions superstitions and myths about these entities spread in the Middle Ages, especially in Europe. A plague left people with bleeding mouth lesions, fueling stories about human bloodsuckers. It was the beginning of vampirism across Europe, and as years went on, the belief in the monstrous entities became stronger. People across Europe grew very frightened of the dead coming back to life, so much so that they began doing rituals and practices to stop corpses from rising from their graves. Most corpses excavated across Europe were discovered with pieces of iron in their graves, as it was believed that vampires were afraid of this material. Just imagine dying and being treated as the spawn of the devil. Perhaps there isn't a story more heartbreaking and tragic than the vampires of Venice. Discovered in a mass grave near Venice, Italy, this 16th century woman was immediately recognized as the Venetian vampire. Her body was buried among medieval plague victims, but unlike other corpses in the area, 
Her mouth was wide open with a large stone lodged in her mouth. Hundreds of years ago, the body of this poor woman was thrown into a pile of corpses, and before covering her with dirt, they made sure to force her mouth open and insert a brick in between. It was an action done out of fear. People believed that she would come back to life as a blood-sucking monster. However, she wasn't alone. Many other corpses were given the same treatment. In 1576, more than 50,000 people were killed by the plague, and those who remained had to do what they could to prevent vampires from ravaging the entire city. Archaeologists who re-examined the woman's burial chamber claimed that the woman wasn't only seen as a vampire, but a witch. Recent research revealed the life of the woman. The Venetian vampire was between 61 and 71 years old when she died, which is quite surprising. Life expectancy in the Middle Ages was incredibly low. During tumultuous times, those on the battlefield and in risky occupations only lived until the age of around 25. Peasants and cottagers could live until around 30 years of age, but it's incredibly rare to find someone who lived until the age of 60. The woman's diet consisted of grains, suggesting she lived an everyday life and that she had a low status when she was alive. The old woman might have been accused of being a witch, not only because of her old age, but also because of her status as an old widow. After all, villagers in the Middle Ages assumed that old widows preyed on the weak and lonely, convincing them to dabble in the black arts. And now it's time for today's topic. Saudi Arabia just shocked American scientists with this. There's no question that Saudi Arabia is an incredible nation that has been making a name for itself in the international community since the 1900s. On March 3, 1938, an unexpected discovery in Saudi Arabia caught the entire international market off guard when an oil well in Tehran drilled into what would soon be recognized as the largest source of petroleum in the world. To this day, about 92% of the nation's budget is covered by oil production. Recently, the nation shocked experts once again when they announced an incredibly ambitious project known as The Line. Stretching about 75 miles across the desert, protected with reflective surface panels at each side. The line is a desert skyscraper city that will be unlike anything in the world. Two lines of buildings running parallel to each other will form the line. Each side would get a breathtaking view of the desert and the coastal terrain. The city was built to be sustainable, with its own high-speed transportation system, farms, walkways, yacht marina, and more. This astounding sci-fi city was called a dystopian dream by several critics. There are doubts as to whether this project is really sustainable, not to mention an eye-watering budget of more than $500 million is needed to begin construction. In 2022, construction of the Line megacity began. Countless excavators were spotted digging a wide linear trench in the middle of the desert in Saudi Arabia. Do you think this project will be the next utopia, or would it be an expensive failure? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. The Dimming Star If you have experienced stargazing before, there's a considerable chance that you've already seen the brilliance of the bright reddish star Betelgeuse. It's not hard to spot this star during a particularly clear night. This star is the nearest red supergiant to our planet, and someday, it'll explode. In 2019, Astronomers were stumped when they noticed the red supergiant was starting to dim. There wasn't any reason for its strange activity, and it continued happening. The bright star slowly began dimming before regaining its brightness again. Today, the star is visibly dimmer, and it might slowly return to a less active state. For years, astronomers scratched their heads to figure out what phenomena caused the star's strange behavior. But after careful observation, they finally discovered the reason. The Betelgeuse star was born millions of years ago. Throughout its life, the star has been building heavier elements in its core. Someday, it can be 1,000 years from now, or perhaps even tomorrow, the star will inevitably explode, sending a wealth of cosmic elements throughout the entire universe. Once the bright star of Betelgeuse explodes, a new generation of stars, planets, and other heavenly bodies will form. But why did the star display such strange behavior? Why did the star dim to the point that it worried astronomers all around the globe? Well, it turned out that the star merely burped. The dramatic and erratic changes it displayed were because it simply expelled a massive blob of gas. Basically speaking, it merely burped, and the remnants of the gas led the star to look dimmer. 
What do you think of these fantastic discoveries? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.